What's up guys, it's Extreme Pikachu here, and today I'm going to be doing my first ever full gameplay. Uh, this kit, I will be using the Snail Kit. Snail Kit gives you a 1 in 3rd chance of giving someone slowness 2 for 3 to 5 seconds, which that could be helpful in a bunch of cases. Yeah. As you can see, I just started straight at the... As soon as invincibility went off, because nobody wants to see me getting mushrooms or wood. That's just a waste of time and <laughs> gigabytes. So, yeah. Just get to the good stuff. Team of two. Refill, super fast mode. More bulls, more mushrooms, ready to go. Guy trying to tower up, barely miss him. <laughs> and I go for this person. He's trying to trying to find the iron because I saw that 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 here she had iron. Yeah, and there it was. And then this guy. And I was like, no, my iron. Back away, my iron. <laughs> this guy put up a pretty good fight, but not enough. Almost died of hunger right there. I, I did actually run out of hunger right there. Then I had to drink two soups super quickly. Start cooking the iron so I can make some armor. And I s saw that there was some iron right there, so I just started mining some iron. Some coal. Throw it all in the furnace. Had a lot of chicken, so just cooked up the chicken. Get some armor going. So I go over here, I've got some armor now, and then Stomper tries stomping me, but I hold shift. And right there, I was super confused, but there was a guy behind me, and he was Monk. So, right there, I tried to swap out my sword, and I put something else in there, like wood or something. And then I was like, oh dear. Just refill really quick while they're still coming after me, and take him down. One and see, as you can see, they have slowness too, so they couldn't really run away. Just sort out my inventory and go back to fast forward because, yeah. Do -do. Looking all around for this guy, and I finally found him way down here. Alright, by his furnaces, and there he is. See, that's a good thing about soup dropping, is it makes refilling a whole lot easier and faster. <laughs> also, it's, it's, it's good for uh, when you're taking out teams, because if you just stand over, the, over one of the guys that you killed, you can just keep consistently getting more full soup as you're throwing out the bowls. I love doing that. So I leave there and I go on to my next guy. I got, got a bucket of lava now. And that's actually one of my subscribers. And I was recording and I, and I was just going to just going to kill him but I actually I, I like never team. Every once in a while I will. But yeah, I decided to team with this guy just just because. And yeah. So I see he's under attack now, so I was like, okay, I'm just I'll just come get him. <laughs> team him. Knock him right into the lava. 
I think lava is a little bit overpowered, in my opinion. Especially if you have like a bucket of lava and, and, and against somebody that has no armor. It's just, yeah. So, I go back up to kill this guy in the tower, and when I get there, he's not even there. I don't know what happened. He just wasn't there. It was weird. So then we go to the next guy. Well, actually, no, we go to the feast. And at the feast, there's more people. So. Yeah. That guy was a monk, and he monked my bucket. <laughs> bucket of lava. So, just take out this guy. Now, my new team, he's Viper. And Viper and Snail, oh my gosh, that's a, that's a perfect team. Because one can slow him down and the other poisons him. And, yeah. <laughs> and slowness. Poisoned. Well, actually, I didn't even give him slowness. I didn't know. Yep, and he, he had no chance of running. So... Now it goes back to super fast mode. Sort out inventories. Goes back to the feast. Eat some chicken. <laughs> Alright. And I place out my bucket of lava and catch my teammate on fire. And then I drop my bucket. I was like, oh my gosh, that was that was a fail. On my part. <laughs> I'm thinking about doing a uh, tutorial on uh, soup dropping. It's it's really not that complicated. But I'm, I'm going to do a video on that. Sometime. Take out this guy. As you can see, I just throw out... 59 of each soup speak or mushrooms because I don't like having two stacks of mushrooms. I I don't I don't ever use 64 mushrooms because every time I kill someone that has mushrooms, it just keeps restacking those 64s. So it's really a waste of uh, inventory space having more. That's just my opinion. Some people like to have lots and lots of mushroom and lots and lots of bowls. I just take. 64 of each mushrooms and some bowls and that's just what I do this guy oh my gosh he's a uh, kangaroo he made us really mad because he we could not get him I shoot him down off uh, off here and my teammate jumps on him and hits him off and I knew exactly where he's gonna land I still barely missed him see the kangaroo he just uses his leather boots and he can double jump, so he can jump up to the trees, jump from tree to tree. Ah, it took forever to get him. It was making us mad. And we couldn't find him sometimes. There he is, there he is. Get to him. Even if we do, like, the the poison from the viper and the slowness from the snail, snail, it doesn't, it wouldn't do anything. Because you could just jump up to the top of the trees and then, yeah. So we spend the next like five minutes, or yeah, trying to trying to get him. Yep. All right. Tree to tree to tree to tree. Poison him. Doesn't do anything though. <laughs> no. I thought I had him right there because he couldn't make it up to the trees, but. We just continually hitting him and he's not dying and then right here he jumps over and he misses the top of the tree and falls down and dies <laughs> has apparently never heard of stairs <laughs> yeah so now I'm in basically full diamond just missing a sword diamond sword and he's just missing helmet and sword and then we realized that we left the feast. We only took, like, we took most of the diamond, but there's still some. We forgot the enchantment table. And a team of, like, three or four, I don't even know, uh, they all 
they were enchanting their armor and stuff. Like right here, this guy's got a, probably sharpness one sword, and this guy's got a protection one on his uh, chest plate and, and sharpness on his sword. And so it was, it was a little bit tough, but it was a good thing I had my uh, strength potion right there. That guy was Phantom, and he and he tried and he tried to fly away, and with the leather armor, I two hit him. <laughs> And there we go. That's all the guys. Got all. So that was that was pretty good. Now it goes back into fast forward because just feel like fixing my inventory and just getting ready. There's only there's only a few guys left. Actually, I think there was only two guys left. So I still have a strength potion. Make iron pickaxe. Another guy asked me to team, but yeah. So <laughs> he dies. We get to him, and he just falls off his tower. He was like, he was cultivator or something. I think I didn't quite see. Just falls right off. Then we go to the next guy. Get my bucket of lava. Get everything ready, and we're going. We're going. There's one guy left, other than than us, and fail parkour right there, <laughs> and. We were, we were here earlier. That's where we were before the feast. That's funny. Then, uh, we keep going, keep going. And he dies. The last guy we were going for just dies. <laughs> yeah. Right, well, he, he told me that, uh, that before, before we teamed, that he said that he'd let me have the win if we won. And... Well, hope you guys enjoyed my first ever commentary on a Hunger Games. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe for more, and if you have any tips or anything for me to make my next one better, if I do another one, um, that would be great. Thanks, and I'll see you guys next time. If you see me in game, say hi.